Hello, today I'm going to show you how to sync your OneDrive from your Office 365 to your desktop computer so that whenever you save something to your OneDrive, it can be accessible wherever you are through Office 365 in the cloud. So as you may know, you have Office 365 free paid for you from the county through Clever. So you want to find your Clever icon or you want to go to clever.com and you want to click on that icon. Once you click on that icon, this will pop up. And the first thing you want to do is click on log in with Active Directory. After you click that button, then you will see this screen pop up. So a lot of you have used this before, so you want to sign in with your regular student ID and password um, credentials. Once you have logged in with your school credentials, you will be logged in to Clever now. So you guys see, this is the Clever. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find your Office 365 app in Clever and then you want to click on the app. Once you have clicked on the app, because you are already logged in through Clever, this should now be your Office 365 setup. So it looked like this. So you have your OneDrive, which is your cloud. You have Word, where you can type things. You have Excel, you have PowerPoint, you have OneNote. You have all of these things that you can use whenever you want. So what you want to do next is you want to click on your OneDrive. So as you can see, this is my OneDrive. I have nothing in it because I haven't been using it and I don't have anything saved. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add folders. So you'll click new, you'll click a folder, and maybe you want to name this folder your first period or maybe you want to name this folder math, or maybe you want to name this folder, you know, by your teacher's last name. It's up to you. So for me, I will name it math. So now I have a math folder. And I want to do another one. And I want to name this science. And now I have a science folder. So I can do that for all of my classes to keep myself organized throughout the year. So now that I have my OneDrive set up, I want to save this onto my computer so that when I download files, I can save it to my OneDrive. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to go to Sync. So up here, you want to go to Sync. And it'll ask you a series of questions. So here you should already have your stuff logged in because you signed in with Clever. So it'll ask for my password. So once I've done that, you don't want to change your location. So you just want to click Next. And here it's just telling you all the great things that you can do. You want to click Always Available, and you can get the mobile app. So one of the things that you can do is you can also download Office 365 on your smartphone. So you'll go to your app store. If you're on iPhone, you know to go to the iTunes store. If you have an Android, you go to Google Play. You find Office 365, and you sign in, download the app, and sign in with your regular um, Clever credentials. And you can have Office 365 on your phone so that if you're not anywhere near your computer, you'll still be able to access your files that you have in your OneDrive. So we'll click later and then we'll go to open my OneDrive folder. So to find my files, I'll click on my desktop folder down here, my file explorer. And then this will pop up with all of, you know, 
my files and everything, I want to go to my OneDrive, click on it, and there go my files that I made in my cloud. So how does this work when you are using Canvas? Well, I will show you. So I'm going to go to my science class. I have Miss N as my anatomy and physiology teacher. So I'll go to her homepage and I will click on my modules so that I can do some assignments. So in the module, the next thing that I have to complete for Miss N is this worksheet, directional terms, body cavities, and body planes practice. So I'm gonna click on it so that it opens up. So here I can see preview of the worksheet, but I'm going to download the worksheet so that I can do it, complete the work in Word. So once I click on the worksheet, it'll download down here. And I will click on it to open it in Word. Once it is opened in Word, I want to go to Enable Editing so that I can make my edits. And then I want to start answering the questions. So the scalp is superficial to the skull and so on and so forth. Once I'm finished with my worksheet, I want to go to File, and I want to go to Save As. And I want to find it in my OneDrive. So I'll click up here to my OneDrive, and I'll click here. And then I want to find over on the side my science folder, because this is science. And maybe I want to change the name of the worksheet. Maybe I want to change it as directional terms and then my name. And then I'll save it. There, so I press save and you see the little status as a check. So I know that it's saved. So when I go back to my Office 365, I'll click on my OneDrive, and this is online. I'll go to my science, and there's my worksheet. Now I have to turn it in. So I will go back to my Ms. N's class. I'll click on my modules. I will find that worksheet. There it is. And I already did my assignment, so now I want to submit my assignment. So I'll go to submit assignment. I'll go to choose a file. I will go back to my science folder in my OneDrive and I'll upload my file, and then I will submit my assignment. Let's try a, another way to submit an assignment. So this is also in Ms. N's class. I went to go download the worksheet, just like regular. Now I'm going to submit the assignment. So I'm going to go to Submit assignment. Instead of last time going to upload file, I'm going to go over here to Office 365 because remember, my worksheet is saved in my Office 365 drive. And when I click on this, it should go automatically to my Office 365 because I'm signed in through Clever, which is how I'm getting to Canvas. And that's also where my Office 365 is located. So I'll click on it. And as you can see, I have way more files this time. I'll find the document, here it is. And then I will go to attach files. It'll attach and then I'll go to submit assignment. 
And I didn't get any confetti this time, but that's fine. It says that I have submitted it. So those are the two different ways that you can submit assignments using your OneDrive. And that is how you get your OneDrive onto your computer so that you have easier access to your assignments in the cloud so that you can submit your assignments through Canvas no matter where you are, whether you be on a computer or on your phone.